right, now let's move on to banking news. Uh, this one is all over the media everywhere. Almost every uh, news outlet is talking about banks moving into recession, cutting down their staff. The reason is very simple. Banks make money by, uh, you know, uh, when they have lots of people depositing and have lots of money with them, they will lend it out to you on interest and uh, with that interest, they make money. So they were busy employing during the boom phase. They were busy employing salespeople, um, join, 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 and they're giving them targets and say, sell, sell, sell. And they were giving them good bonuses. So a lot of bankers make shit loads of money. So you just have to be good in sales, get experience into banking and then become a banker. Okay. So any Tom, Dick and Harry was good at selling, could join a bank, become a banker and make loads of money. However, when the economy was not doing well, which is not currently, uh, they found that nobody, you know, they had to cut down on uh, giving people loans because loans were not uh, being paid. People were defaulting. You had plenty of bad debts. So they were going into losses. And because they were going into losses, they had to cut down on their staff. And this is the correction that is taking place. So now HSBC, which was enjoying big, big profits, is actually now having big, big loss. You have the HSBC's chief, that is John Flint. He stepped down um, just within two years of taking the job because of he couldn't use his leadership skills to you know stir HSBC towards success. So ever since he resigned, only after 18 months at the job, you had, since I think the beginning of this year, you had 4,700 people who lost their jobs. Out of the 4,700 people, people got... That's it. Nobody else is going to lose their job. But guess what? More than 10,000 people are going to lose their jobs more. 10,000 more people. The reason for this is Brexit. You have US-China trade war. You have the unrest in Hong Kong. You have the global environment, the challenges faced globally. And you have the low interest rates. Uh, so HSBC is not the only bank that is terminating people. You have Deutsche Bank. Uh, and, uh, you know, the latest headline is Germany is moving into recession. So Deutsche Bank has cut down 18,000 jobs. Uh, then Germans, uh, Germany's second largest lender, Commerce Bank, is cutting down 4,300 full-time employees and shutting down 200 branches. You have France's Société Générale, or I don't know how you pronounce French names, is laying off 1,600 people and Barclays is cutting down 3,000 jobs globally, um, you know, this year. So banking overall, and I told you this at the beginning of the year that banks are going to cut down people and it's happening all over. And in the Middle East, for those of you who are wondering what's going to happen in the Middle East, also banks have to survive. So they are either merging or they are laying off staff or, you know, they are putting up these headlines. Oh, we're going digital. In other words, what they're doing is, we are reducing the number of staff. We are outsourcing work uh, to India, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, where it's much more cheaper. They, everything will be automated. We don't need as many employees. You own a bank, you just bank, use your smartphone or just come to the bank, put in the money. No more expensive offices, no more renting out uh, space, no more paying extra salaries. So they need to save millions and billions, but they will put it in nice way. Oh, we are going digital, we are modernizing and all that. You're going to see, in my prediction, 50% of all the bankers in UAE and the Middle East, 50% will all lose their jobs, especially the guys, the dinosaurs who are earning big salaries, big bonuses, big money. You're going to lose your jobs. You're going to end up in the unemployment list. And the only job you would be offered is a salary that would pay you maybe 30 to 40% lower but you'll have to slog your ass now and it's going to be very, very tough. So this is my prediction for the banking uh, industry or sector. Let me know your thoughts. If you think I'm right or wrong, I'd love to hear your thoughts.